States. Today, 70 years ago, I was born in the beautiful city of Prague to Ilze and Erich, my loving and caring parents who brought me to Israel when I was only six weeks old. They are always with me. Tonight I'm celebrating my 70th birthday with all my loved ones sitting around a big, round, beautiful set table overlooking the sea. I'm so fortunate to have such a wonderful, loving and supporting family. Philip is my very best friend and husband. We love each other's company from the day we met in the Israeli Student Club in London. Shlomit, Daphna and Galia, my very close daughters and friends. We speak to each other every day and often more, no matter where we are. Eddie, Shlomi and Gary, we are very happy and fortunate to have you as our sons-in-law. We love you. You are the best. Daniela, Tal, Tomer, Ella, Dylan, Roni, and Levi. You are all very special. I love and adore you. I admire your personality and good nature. You are so special and unique. I love you. It gives me great pleasure to have you all here. I hope you all enjoy the evening. Tonight to celebrate our Dina's 17th birthday. 50 years of those we have spent together. Those were good years where we have seen our daughters growing up, setting their own family and having wonderful children. I am planning for us that the next 50 years to be as nice. Dina, I would not be wrong to say that all of us Love you. Our dear Imale, we were all saying today how we could not believe that tonight is here. We have been planning this evening for a long while now and flown from South Africa and New York and driven from Telmond so that our family could be whole tonight. Pity Eddie is not here. And here we all are here for you here to celebrate you, your life, and our love for you. You look so beautiful tonight. We hope that you feel special and loved by each of us because we all admire you and love you. They say you choose your parents. Well, who would not want to choose you as a mother? We must have pushed into the line to get there first. Imagine the scramble, but Shlomit got there first. We have been so blessed by you all our lives. You make each daughter feel like an only child you always have. You fuss and admire each grandchild as if they were your only one. Don't think it goes unnoticed. It is heartwarming to watch them love you, each of them in their own unique way they know how. For Shlomit, Daphna and I, there has only been one constant in our lives, and this is you and Abba. Really, we have all had this invisible safety net of security and love. For me, it has given me the opportunity to take certain risks in my life, knowing that you would always be there for me. I know that my sisters feel the same way. You always made it so clear that Abba and your daughters are the are your best friends. Emma, I'm here to tell you that you are our best friend. We know we are not perfect, but please never question our love and admiration of you. You have set the bar so high for us to try emulate. The three of us put together don't come close to the one of you. I have to mention that growing up in a home full of your art on all the walls left such an impression on me. I am always and always was so proud to bring people home to show them how clever my mother was and is. You are the talented one.
The fact that you had a full-time job and still found the time in the evenings to do what you loved was such an important lesson for me. The parties you threw, especially in Brunswick Road, for 40 plus people at a time always stays with me. The way you run your home here in Israel and the standard of cooking boggles my mind. You are so hardworking and determined, unstoppable. You are one classy, talented, extremely generous, not to mention elegant in a contemporary kind of a way woman, wife, mother, grandmother, and mother-in-law. Tonight is all for you. Let's lift our glasses and cheers to the one we love, Aldina. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.